guy just dropped me um, in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where I am at the moment, but he told me to just keep on walking. Um, just keep on walking until I see a bridge. So I had two options. I had the option of either taking a boat, uh, but um, do, would I say I have phobia for those in the recent times? I had to choose between a boat and a bridge. Uh, but this particular bridge you walk across, so vehicles and uh, motorbikes do not cross. I guess that's why he left me back there. Uh, we currently heading to Lunkulu Island, which is the venue for this year's. It was also the venue for last year's Bayimba Festival of the Arts. Whoa! I do not want to fall. Ah, this place is all boggy. Eh? actually telling me it's not been raining but I guess it started raining when um, figured figured out that we were coming so I also called uh, one of the bloggers at, uh, at the campsite already where where the festival is and he told me it's soaking wet <laughs> I do not know what I got myself into I probably should have oh, the, the, I guess the, it's the idea of putting on crocs was the worst thing I would ever think of. You know, yesterday I called a friend who is here already and I asked about the weather. And I told her I, would, I, I, I was planning to put on crocs. And she told me, yeah, crocs should be fine unless if it rains. So I was like, okay, I'll say my prayer and just go. So when I prayed, it rained. And this is what I'm facing. Out in the bush, all alone, problems. I probably should have gotten more details about the weather. <laughs> I totally didn't plan for that. Ah. Oh, I almost fell. Jeez, oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh, I almost fell. Jeez, oh my gosh. Ah. We finally got to the bridge. But I lost this. <laughs> so one of the crocs, if you just see them down there, one of the crocs has how do you call this? Uh, anyway. So I'm finally on the bridge, thank God. I'm not lost. I'll just keep walking and until we get to uh, they call they call it what? The ticketing hut. We are finally here. We're here. Ah, oh, I love, I love the sounds. I love the sounds of birds, crickets, and just some forest animals. I think I just got something in my eye. Woo! They say the best blogs and blogs start with the toughest <laughs> beginnings. So, let me just keep my hopes high for the best experience. But so far, woo! It's been, it's been a tug of war to say the least, but I'm glad to be here. I think I'll just have to put on my glasses just so we don't have any more insects getting into my eyes. Yeah, but I'm finally here at Lunkulu Island where the Bayimba festival is taking place. <laughs> what is up? What is up? The vlog has to start right now. <laughs> the vlog will start right now.
What is up my beautiful people, it's your boy Jonathan Benaya and I'd like to welcome you to yet another video. This particular video I'm bringing to you the just concluded Baimba festival uh, which took place on Lunkulu Island, one of the islands in Lake Victoria which is the second biggest. Um, the Baimba festival brings together different acts, it brings musicians, it brings uh, playwrights, it brings artists from different walks of life and it's a mix of people from uh, different parts of the world who come together island. Uh, the camp. This particular one was the 12th edition. So I was there, uh, part of the bloggers retreat. This particular year they had quite a number of events. They had uh, uh, the, main, the main event of course the uh, performances, live performances, um, which I actually liked a lot about uh, the entire festival. The fact that uh, all performers have to come with a live band. Uh, so it, it's it, it's gone away from um, the old vibe of people doing CDs. They had a number of fringe events. They they did also have different stores around. So there were people serving coffee. There were people serving different meals. I was able to get my Rolex as I usually wanted, uh, and I liked that they kept the stalls as authentic as uh, they would be, similar to what you find on the streets in Kampala. So I got to have chats with so many people, some people from Germany, I got to meet guys from Belgium, and some guys from the US, the UK, who are here for the festival. And they, they told me they would be, that they had been coming for the previous ones, and, um, and I had an amazing time with some amazing, uh, some, some of Uganda's top bloggers and um, content creators, so it was an opportunity for us to learn from each other and share experiences about um, uh, the things that we like to do, create content, um, but also get to learn tips from each uh, each other and also inspire each other to go into um, particular areas. Um, but I also got to share a few of the tips that I know. Um, but that aside, it was a good opportunity to, um, to, 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 to camp in nature, uh, they had monkeys on the island, they had so many bird species. You wake up um, and see egrets flying around, you see great blue turquoise, uh, you see hornbills going by. And then if you combine that with the music, um, it, it is an excellent experience. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh. signing out um, but I thank you so so very much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed the little bit that I um, shared with you uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel right to my left if, if you're not already uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, smash that button and um, if you are into this feel free to click the share button and uh, 
let's spread the love, show me some love. And I did leave uh, links below to the different bloggers and vloggers. Please go over to their channels, go over to their blogs and show them some love as well. For now, I remain the boy Jonathan Benaya and I'll see you in the next one.